giving a shout out to all the local barbers and entrepreneurs that are setting the path for us barber network and our barber community. Make sure you pick up some apparel from the Midas Empire. Welcome barbers and barber students. My name is Alton Mitchell. I'm an instructor as well as entrepreneur at Cuts by Quick Barbershop in Knightdale, North Carolina. Come and see me. But while I'm here, we're going to talk about infection practices and safe work practices in the workplace, in the barbershop, today. What we need to understand, we need to understand PSH. PSH stands for Protect, Safety, and Health. That's the main thing we need to understand when we're dealing with our clients as well as ourselves. We want to protect ourselves, protect our clients. We want to make sure we have safety guidelines as well as a safe work practice for our clients to come in. Also, we want to understand that we're protecting safety and health. The main three, th three things we're going to talk about today. Why I have your attention? Let's go over here to the board. We're going to talk about regulations. Everything is regulated. Government regulates us as the citizens of the United States. So in your barber field, we're regulated through federal and state agencies. The first agency we'll talk about today is the Environmental Protecting Agency, known as EPA. They are, the EPA develops and enforces regulations of environmental law in an effort to protect human health and the environment. Also, we need to talk about the Food and Drug Administration, FDA for short, is responsible for enforcing rules and regulations associated with food, drug, and cosmetic products purchased used by the public. Everything we purchase, from, they have to make sure their product works correctly and make sure it's not going to damage and do harm to the public. So we have to understand that. Also, we deal with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA. OSHA is to assure, regulate, and enforce safe and helpful working conditions in the workplace. So while you're working, you have to understand that they're regulated through OSHA. They want to make sure that everybody who's coming into your business, making sure that everyone is safe and they enforce those laws to be regulated. Hazard communication rule. The hazard communication rule requires that chemical manufacturers and importers evaluate and identify possible health hazards associated with their products. So they have to make sure if it's hazardous, they need to make sure that they let us know that. Anything toxic, we have to make sure that's done through the hazard communication rule. It's very important. Material safety data sheets, which are also known as MSDSs, okay? Those are enforced and those are located in barbershops and schools are required by law to maintain an MSDS for every product used on the premises. So every product that you have in your premise should be in a log or posted in the MS data safety sheet. Okay, safety sheet is very important. Right to know, Law Act. But before we explain that, let's talk about labeling. Labeling is important. Every product and every thing that you use in the barbershop should be labeled. Well, if it's water, antiseptic, or anything, make sure you have a label on it to understand that what that product is, is actually what it says on that label. That's labeling is very important, especially in a barbershop. Right to Know Law Act. Remember, the Right to Know Law Act should be somewhere in your barbershop. Post it up, and it should be also incorporated with your material safety data sheet. Very good to know. If you don't have a right to know, you need to go to the State Department of Labor, contact them, and I'm sure that they can supply you with a right to know. Responsibility to understand that the MS data safety sheets and the Right to Know Act are working together. The reason why they're working together is because anything on the MS data safety sheets may be toxic. And it's your right to know, meaning the consumer, and you as well as the barber, to know that they have to be under that Right to Know Law Act, as well as to guidelines and to show the MS data safety sheets, make sure that you're complying, and make sure you're doing what you say. Regulatory agency. Everything is going through the state, everything is regulated through different agencies. We are mandated and regulated through the state, North Carolina State Barber Board. That's who controls our laws, make sure we're complying, make sure we're doing what we have to do. And Three important state. factors that we need to know that the state board will make sure that we're complying to is protecting, serving, safety, and the health of our clients as well as ourselves. 